time frame. Anyway, the game is ready. So, ladies and gentlemen, Emmett takes over to Fame Apex for a spot in the offline finals. As Fame Apex, they will be the defending side first, as Emmett takes up will be on the offense. Okay, this is going to be crossfire, guys. Very, very long range fights here. Nice little cubby hole to slide through, just like uh, speed there. Just went in and only in here. So M8 Hexa here, kind of taking it slow. Gets a couple of damage here as Razor actually takes the first blood, taking out Wen. And Ranger Z and Wen gonna be taken out zero as well. So it is just insane fights here as it's all down to speed. He's gonna get taken out eventually here by Raven, and that is a super fast round here. That's insane here from Fame Apex. Yeah. Clean and easy round over there. Ranger getting two kills to his name. So lead the charge for Team Fame Apex. As they will start off on the right foot. Midhot Emmett Hexa. There's a lot of damage there. Ren is holding the sniper rifle for his team. And look at that skin. Pretty awesome skin for a sniper rifle with that ice. It's literally the uh, glass cannon. But, uh, nonetheless, guys, 4v3 now here. And just kills left, right, and center here as it's a 4v2 as Fame Apex. They're gonna be down here. Ooh, that's, that's a nice kill there coming in from Raven. Doing a lot of damage here as Ed from behind taking down two here. 1v2 now, Wen by himself. Doing a lot of damage here on towards Ed's, but it's now it's a 1v1. They know exactly where they are as Wen coming out on top here with that glass cannon sniper right there. Just insane. Wow. That was a 1v3. Yes, indeed. So. The score is tight, and the gets on the board in the second round. So going into round number three, we'll see who takes the lead going into the later stages of this first half of the search and destroy, where six round is needed by either of these teams to actually win out the first game. As we can see, kills go back and forth. It's a one for one. But MH takes a hard time. He will get a double kill to his name, giving them the Four on two advantage. Yeah, oof, all of them just gonna get taken out here. Lost MX8 winning out game. round number two here. Two rounds in a row so far here, so it's very, very scary. You cannot let them build up a momentum here, because I am sure they will definitely take advantage here. Four kills in the hands of Wen, and he Destroy is just objective. popping off. And I love this skin. I'm, I'm, I just keep looking at it. I don't know whether it's a glitch or it's an actual skin, but man, that is insane. Yeah. Nonetheless, here, getting very aggressive here. Speed is actually going to get taken out here by Derp. Great shots there with a the sniper. But it's a 4v5 situation. I'm sure Ranger going for this insane flank. Does catch one, but he's going to get taken out himself here. And it's now all of them. Ooh. That was a Super wipe fast. out by Fame Apex. So they do not want to drop the ball. They are tying up the game once again. So we move into the last one of the first half. We'll see who will have the slightest of lead moving into when they switch over sides. Up to this at the interval, so we'll see. Jerp with his sniper rifles getting an angle towards his car, but unfortunately, his vision has been blocked off by the smoke deploy. Exactly, there we go. The, all they have to do now is just defend here. The trophy system gonna come out here, so any kind of nades coming in will be blocked off, will be negated here. As uh, Razor does take down Hatton here, towards the B side here, and Ranger does come in for the trade, taking out Eds here. Razor as well gonna get taken out here, so it is looking very, very bad here for Fame Apex. It's a 4v2 situation now. It's Raven all by himself. He does spot out one of the players here, but the bomb is going to be planted. And it's a 1v4. So it is super, super hard. He does get a kill on towards speed, but there are three more players. You have to worry about the drop shot coming in, and he does manage to take him out. A 1v2, what are they doing? All they have to do is hold on to the site. Ooh, that rocket launcher. Destroying him and kind of just... Uh, Kind of anticlimactic a little bit, you know. I, I was expecting him to win that one. Yep. So MH Hexa, they have the sights of lead, and now they switch over onto the defense. Can defense they put up a solid defense and get three more rounds on the board and close this and get a one to zero? Or will Fame Apex have other ideas in the back? Will they get use the utilities and try to confuse the defense of MH Hexa and just get the rounds nearer? As we can see, this round is playing a little bit slower. No. Early death by either side. All of these teams being so careful, knowing that a spot and the offline final is on the line. Ooh. Ranger is going for some wall banks. Unfortunately, he was a little bit close, but he will not get oh anything. But goodness. he gets taken down by FPS Ranger. So a four on four situation. This round is still anybody's round. As we can see, slowly but surely, 
Fame Apex are making their way to the B side. Exactly. 4v3. Now the bomb is about to be planted here for Fame Apex. It's going to be very, very tough to go for the retake here, but unfortunately, they did not manage to win. Actually, takes down two kills here, so it's a 2v3 now. It was in their favor for a minute, but all of a sudden, it is not looking great at all here for Fame Apex. They have to recover the bomb. They have to plant it. And just defend here. It's going to be super, super hard here. And the thing about Crossfire, a lot of the walls are uh, are wall bangable. You, know, you can actually shoot through the walls, so it's super, super hard. But 37 seconds left here, and they have to start making a move featuring Eds all by himself here towards Bakery. Definitely has to be careful. Time's almost up. 30 seconds remaining, and I'm sure he can definitely spot one or two players off guard here, but he spots one, and he's going to go for the U-turn. He's like, yeah, nah, I don't want anything to do with this. He's just going to chow, man. I don't know if saving is a thing here in, in Call of Duty. Nope, they should yeah, just try and go in for the kills or get the bomb down. And looking like the timer has not run in, so it looks like MHX will be gating their fourth round. Unless Fame can get three kills in. Ooh, Two seconds, but they managed to get oh, no, he's the bomb retreated, out. but unfortunately he gets taken down. And there you go, the round will go in favor of MHX due to the time running out. And Emmy takes out, they just need two more rounds to close out this opening battle on Search and Destroy. Exactly, two more rounds is all they need. Both they these teams are looking very, very great. But the thing is, Fame Apex, they unfortunately lost two players towards f to, to win. You know, he's got seven kills now. And this sniper in his hands is just super, super strong. He makes it look so easy, especially with that skin. You know, skins equal skills, I guess. Especially when it's on the hands, in the hands of Wen. So great stuff here, featuring Ed does take down two Ooh. here. Z Speed trying to get some covering fire, but unfortunately only does a, a lot of damage. That's about it. Yep, this round is looking much better for the side of Fame Apex. Getting three kills, getting the bomb planted towards that B side. And look at that kill coming simultaneously. As once again, Fame Apex, they are not throwing in the white towel. They do not want to give in. They want a shot at winning out Search and Destroy. Reducing the deficit to just yeah, one round changes. after playing yeah, seven rounds. Exactly, one more round is all they need to go for the tie here. I feel like M8, M8 Hicks, so they kind of have to step up a little Ooh. more. But look at these nades here from Fame Apex. And when going for the wall bang straight to the head here. A beautiful shot. And he did just he did not see that coming. That is all crosser placement, you know. Uh, is you know, it's, it's a pretty common wall bangable spot, I guess. But you can see Derp kind of just trying to do the same as he's going to get destroyed when destroying that car and the explosion actually took out Derp. And all of a sudden, a 4v3 situation playing the same angle. But a 4... Eh, no, oh, oh my goodness. All of a sudden, Raven does take down speed here. So it's a 3v2 now when 9 kills the carry with that with this uh, sniper by himself in towards Bakery here. There are three players just around him, but... Time is definitely on his side. They have a minute left to work with. They can definitely catch players off guard here. Featuring Ed does not spot the player there towards the opposite side of the map. And uh, they're just hunting right now. Yep, and the so will not really spot out anything to his moment. The smoke will be deployed to deny any vision from the side of MHXA. Can fame Apex play on the man Sniper! off? Their man advantage and turn it into a round of victory. Looks like they're trying to get onto a side. Ooh, so much damage though. When gonna be coming in for the flank here, he's oh, also... Oh no! It is down to 0-2 in this one on two situation. He knows what's up, he's trying to be fire left and right, but Ranger will swing it out and tie the game up at 6, a 4 apiece. 4 apiece, guys. Look towards the left, 7 kills on 3 other players, 6 on towards Derp and 3 on towards Razor. So it's more balanced on towards the Fame Apex side. You know, they're really working as a team. And these nades do so much damage. Always taking one or two players on. Like, look at that. Ooh. When taking down two kills here. His own teammate. Oh, he took, did he take out his, both his teammates? Or what? Yeah, he took down one of his oh, teammates one of his and one teammates opponent. Okay. Yeah. So they still have a man advantage due to that. But we'll see. This round is so crucial if both teams want to actually win out this game. As when is trying to take in a couple of pop shots. Unfortunately, Ooh, he gets the taken trade. down. They traded each other out. Derp killed Wen and Wen killed Derp. So that is just insane. And that is unfortunate here for both these players. But it is 4-4. Four to four, And the, sky, the, t the score is all tied up here. Raven and Razor, the two R's of the team here. They have to do something. It's a 2v3. Trying to take it easy. They do have the, the, uh, the bomb in their hands. 
All they have to do now is stick together and kind of go for the trade. I feel like they can definitely win this one out. As long yep. as they stick together. They still have 50 seconds on the clock to try and make their way to the side. But looks like they will be heading towards this A side. Raven and Razor are playing oh quite no. close towards each other. But Hatek, he will drop out, come in for that kill. Oh. Down to Raven, but he is... Shining with flying colors and he even oh, have the chance no. to go for the finish but zero two will come in with that final kill on that clutch play giving the lead back once again to MH Hexa. Oh so close yet so far. He went for the sliding kill. That was some swag right there, man. Some stylish kills coming in. Zero picking up his fifth kill with that 1v1 clutch. I mean almost frame apex that almost had it here. Great trades, but it just did not work out here in the end. But four to five now. Nate Hexa, one more Rack point out. is all they need here to win out the first map. We do have domination after this, so it's a total different beast here, but... Nice. Chemistry. Zero actually taking down to about 30 HP there, but he will be able to regen his health. Look at these rocket launchers just doing so much damage across the board, you don't even see them. You all you gotta do is shoot the floor next to them and you're good to go. Featuring Ed does get taken down here, and Razor might be able to spot out one more player. I'm just going for the baits here. Oh, okay. He's just trying to go for the bait, but this nade, though, could do a lot of damage. But the peak actually does come in, and he takes him out with that nade. Keep jumping, Ranger. He's going to get destroyed. They're obliterated with that nade. But nonetheless, a 3v3 situation. Wen does take down Derp here. 13 frags here on towards him. And he can definitely make this work. Z-speed here towards the apps. On towards the second floor. Can definitely catch one or two players off guard. See if he can jiggle peek here. Squats them out here. They know exactly where he is now. All they need to do is throw a nade. But Fame, they have to go for the bomb plant. 45 seconds left here. Yep, in a 3 and 3 situation, this round could be so crucial. Can I miss Hector just close it right here, right now? Or can Fame Apex win this to play another round? We Time's will see. Up. We still have 30 seconds. M and Hector, they really need to make their move. They really need to get Whoa. towards the bomb site, but they oh are rocking into goodness. the wrong bomb site. As Razor, he tried to go for. The bomb plant, but unfortunately, there oh was just no, too much bad. people guarding that area. Oh wait, they turn it into 1v2 now. Yup, and both of the players of Fame Apex is kind of low. So when it's put up to the task to come in for this clutch, Almost unfortunately, he, he will try and get some shots, but unfortunately, he will not really connect that shot. So he try, he really needs to connect this if he want to make this Ooh. work for himself. It could be post plant situation here. I like the way Frame Apex are playing it. They just fall back. They don't want to fight him. They just play the time. You know, that's all you have to do. And you just wait for him to go for the defuse. And as soon as he's defusing, all you got to do is peek him. Give him a little jiggle peek. And you can easily shoot him. But here we go. Ooh. A lot of damage there on towards Razor. But unfortunately, I don't know if he will be able to hold this off. Spots him. It's a nice wall bang there. He's got 10 seconds though. He has to go for it. But the clutch, the rocket launcher missing it out here. And he has to go for the defuse. That's five seconds. as it. Oh. So close yet so far, and Fame Apex played it to perfection. That was close to when? Yep. It's insane. Close indeed. So this Destroy the objective. is the round that decides who actually wins out and get a 1 to 0 lead. MHX is on the offense. They really need oh to connect the shots. Goodness. And what a oh shot there by Wen. No. Put in a statement in round number 11 saying that this is the round for MH Hex. That is the round for him, and he definitely will be the player of this game right here. 15 frags so far. Dirt kind of just chilling in the smoke. He hears the footsteps coming in, and he gets a shot through the smoke. I'm not sure how. He spots another one as well. Oh, so much patience here from Dirt. He's going to get flanked here and gets a nice Whoa. flick on towards Ranger Z. A 3v3 situation. All they need, these two teams, they need one more point. And this time, M8 Hexa are on the attacking side. They have to go for the bomb defusal. Wen takes out Raven here. 2v2 now as the trades come in. A 1v2 as Razor is all by himself. He's got seven kills. He's got the rifle here. But what can he do against the likes of Wen and Hatim? Yep, Wen is still alive. That is a worrying sign for the side of fame, Apex. If they want to make this round, they are. And Wen is such proficient with that. Sniper rifle, but Razor, he has a chance to actually take down Hatim, but unfortunately he will not connect his bullet. So the position of oh. Razor has been revealed, and they're just gonna go in oh, for the, the rocket launcher. B side. 
Razor a lot is on his shoulders, whether he can come in for this one on two retakes. He's definitely Ooh. making close, but Hatim, he will swing out, take him down. There you go. go. They will win it out. MH Hexa. That was pretty close. That was uh, next level stuff. I mean, the only reason I think M8 Hexa won is because of the carry coming in from when he'll get all the craziest wall bangs, the craziest flicks. But in the end, I mean, it was super close. It was six to five, and uh, just good try, good effort coming in from Fame, Fame Apex. Yep, it's crazy. Yeah, unfortunately, it was a little bit. We're gonna be heading in towards the second map here. It is gonna be domination. And uh, we're actually going to be playing on towards Summit here. So this is going to be the first time we have Domination on towards Summit. Alpha going to get taken out here by M8 Hex. Uh, Charlie going to get taken out here from Fate Apex. And that's going to be the first blood here in the hands of Wen. Starting off big here. That's going to be the second here. As he's going to get traded here by featuring Ed. Let's get a nice frag here. And that's two points here. Two. Two different capture points in the hands of Mate Hexa, but look at this Razor gonna be put taking out A over his buddy ready and waiting here. But nonetheless, look at this Mate Hexa just going insane. This is kind of a curveball here. Summit, a relatively new map, came out just last month. So not a lot of teams have experience in this, but it looks like Mate Hexa definitely do. Yup, MH Hexa throwing that dominance in this map. Gating up to a fantastic start. Already having more than a 10 point lead. Just after the one minute mark. This is such a disaster for Fame Apex who played such a magnificent game on Search and Destroy. Unfortunately, they're just falling off short in this matchup oh in domination. Goodness. It is looking so bad. They have not even got 10 points. Finally, they only get it. And by that time, 28 points here, 29, 30 Check almost here on towards Mate Hexa. So just crazy. They always have the two points. Fate Mate Hexa really, really have to start pushing here. And there we go, Ranger on towards C. He does, it, he does have his friend here, Turf, in terms of uh, backup here. But he's going to get taken out. And there we go, Ranger Z takes down both players on towards that C point. And right now, in towards the control room, Hatim going to get very, very aggressive. A nice push, though. But look at this. 42 points already. Eight more points is all they need to switch halves. And 18 on towards Fame Apex. It is not looking great at all. Yes, indeed. And this could be a fast one as MHX are. Looks like they're just going to close the game with such a lead. Make that a 29 point lead after switching side. This is looking all over for the side of Fame Apex despite playing such a fantastic opening set of game on search and destroy they are being destroyed by the side of mh hexa exactly they have the shields now here hatim has one fps ranger has one as well when gonna be coming in here he has six kills and he's gonna get taken out here and finally some kills left right and center here but they really need to start capturing some points here Fame Apex are, do have A and they are going to take down C, but unfortunately, look at this. 0-0 zero, zero all the way. Going for the flank. He has A. And it is good to go. No one has taken Charlie just yet here as B is about to get taken out. And oh my goodness, mate. Fame Apex are not looking great at all. They have not even got a single point here. There we go, finally. They do have Charlie. But at this rate, I think... Start. I kind of just want to start uh, revising for the next next uh, game, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean they really need time. I mean get pray. their mind back in because they will have one more chance if they were to drop this. Highly looking like they will actually drop this game. They really need to get their heads back into the game and try to focus on the next game. As MH is just running riot on towards the side of Fame Apex, not really giving them a chance in domination. Exactly, Zero just taking two kills there with that Predator drone. And my goodness, it is just every single time Fame Apex takes a, uh, a point, the other, their, the other point will get taken away from them. But look at this, they will be heading on towards B here. They will capture it, but they are 50 points down here. So they definitely need to do some work. They definitely need to defend here and try not to die because uh, it would be devastating here when taking out Derp as he does get traded here by featuring Ed. Oh my goodness, just damage literally everywhere. Look at the shield as well. The control panels. It's, it's providing cover as well, but 
Summit, it is just full on chaos here towards Summit. Seven more, six more points here, and uh, I think that's GG, man. Yep, it should be it. I mean, Fame FX, they will have another chance in a lower bracket, but they really need to to try and figure out what went wrong for them in this game as MHXR will close out the game with a 100 to 48 scoreline. That is such dominance compared to what we saw in Search and Destroy. It went all the way to 6 to 5, but in, dom in Domination, they just got dominated with a scoreline of 100 to 48. They got destroyed, mate. I think uh, if that was the map pick of uh, M8 Hexa, they did very, very well because it's still a new map. So not a lot of teams really know what to do in terms of domination. They don't really play it that often. And it literally came out, I think it was November 23rd or November 19th. So it was maybe like a couple of weeks ago, to be honest. So that's pretty crazy to actually put it in a tournament. You know, kind of just p throw a curveball to all the all the competition out there, kind of catch them off guard. And I think MA Hexta, they did very, very well there. Just destroyed uh, destroyed the, the, the opposing team. Yep, I mean, didn't really have a chance. Thank you.